Hello everyone, my name is Mir, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be about this, a Volt Bike Banner. It's been my daily beater for quite some time, and I want to give you guys my experience on it. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So this is a 2008 Volt Bike Mariner. I did my best to keep it as stock as possible, with a few exceptions. The front and rear lights had to be changed, as well as the rear tire. I had to add hand grips and storage, all of which I thought were necessary to make the bike the way I wanted. One of the many features that this bike has is that it folds. I for one have yet to fold it because of where I'm staying and where I store it, but I have folded the handbars down because it sticks out. When it comes to storage, this is a big guy. It's unable to fit in the majority of areas where I'm staying, perhaps it's you it's different. For me, I am forced to keep this outside. Having this outside, I have to make sure that it's well secure. I, at the moment, I am using three different U-locks to make sure that no one takes this guy. If you've been following me for a while, if you noticed that the first Volt Bike Mariner that I got got stolen because I was careless, I'm definitely not making that mistake again. Aside from the hand grips, the storage, and the locks, I haven't really bought many accessories for the bike because I don't want to draw any attention to it. I like it just the way it is, minimalistic, rugged, and you know what, somewhat dirty. Reason being is I just don't want to draw any attention to it. I like it being incarnudo, especially when you park in certain areas. I just want it, people to forget about it, walk by, that looks cool, and keep walking. That's all I want. When it comes to storing this in public places, I hope I don't have to tell you that you have to be smart, put this in public areas, make sure there's cameras, it's well lit. Another thing I wanted to tell you is that when you're riding this at night, be aware of your surroundings. Long story short, I was taking this home from school, it's around 10.30. The bike path I usually take crosses on St. Denis. St. Denis in Montreal is one of the biggest uh, bar streets. It's always packing in the summer. At that time, around 10.30, I'm going down the street, I had to stop. I think a gentleman probably had one too many drinks and thought he could jump me. Nothing happened, but it just reminded me that this could happen to somebody else and you guys have to be vigilant. If someone's coming at you and you think you're in danger, the best thing I would do is hit the throttle and go. Sometimes it's kind of dangerous and you just have to let your bike go because your life is just not worth, you know, $2,000 worth of metal. Trust me, your life is worth a lot more than that. So you can either let them go Hit that throttle and just go and make sure you're safe. Um, and, you know, it's happened to me, it might happen to someone else. Some people might get the idea, you know, looking at a scrawny gal or a young woman on this that they can overpower them and take it. I wish that on nobody, but always be very careful. Be very, very careful. Bikes like this always draw attention, so you might draw the wrong type of attention. A lot of viewers have been asking me about the range and the recharge on the battery. Uh, for the range, the longest that I've got with it using pedal assist one is about 30 kilometers. So I had taken this from downtown Montreal, from Bonaventure, all the way up to Repontigny on pedal assist one. It took forever, but the bike was a champ. It lasted, I was impressed. As for the recharge, well, it's a standard four hours. Uh, I usually charge it less because majority of the time when I do use the bike every day, my kilometers is under 20, maybe even under 10 some days. I'm going to the corner store, going to see some friends, you know, I'm going to do things that are in my area that are just not that far, you know, perks of living in a city. Some people I've seen, they use this out in the country, going to the national parks, amazing, I love it. The one thing you should be aware of is flats. Uh, in my time with the Mariner, I have changed quite a few tires in my time, some of which were in the middle of nowhere, uh, rain. Um, having a flat with a bike like this is not fun. This is basically 69 pounds with the battery inside. If you have a flat or maybe if the controller dies, good luck, you know, pushing this bike or even riding this bike up a mountain. It's basically impossible without having the motor to assist. So. I always tell people, when you're buying a bike like this, stock up on some tubes, learn how to change the tire properly, try to get really efficient with it. The faster you're able to change the tire, the better for you. Because there are going to be some times where maybe your two pinches on 
God knows what, something gets inserted in. Maybe someone stabs your tire. I don't know. Just be sure to know how to change it quickly. Have, have some backups. Because you never know what will happen. You really never know. When it comes to changing your tire, having a standard toolkit for any bike will help. Allen keys, wrenches, they do the trick. I would like to get some tire levers a lot more because with this one, uh, as you can see, it's been through hell and back. Um, well, I mean, the reason being is that I had to take this apart without the proper tools in the middle of nowhere, so it was not fun, but it is what it is. So with my time with the manager, do I recommend you guys getting this? Well, depending what you want to do with it, if it's just for recreational use, I would say, sure, I mean, it's a good get around, you know, around the park here and there. If you want to use it for every day, then I would say, look, what do you want to do with it? You know, where are you going with it? You know, where are you going to store it? Like, most people get it, and I see some of them sell it within a month because they didn't like it, it's not what they expected. I don't know. Just know what you're getting yourself into. This is not the fastest bike out there. This is actually really slow. You know, small tires means you can't get into it. I'm not gonna get into it, but slow bike. You're gonna get, get passed by basically everybody. Um, it's, it's gonna draw a lot of attention, good or bad. You're gonna have to get used to it. You know, people are gonna constantly try to race you and you see, a, you see an electric bike, it just automatically triggers this human emotion to, to, to persevere and drive harder. Even though, you know, I'm pedaling, I pedal this one going 11 for some odd reason, I have to, everyone has to be the first at the light that we're all gonna wait. I don't know, that's just me, but yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really have many negative things to say about the bike. Um, I basically abused this guy. Uh, it went through hell and back. Um, I wasn't looking to abuse it, it's just ended up being that way. It's just been left outside constantly in all the weathers. I've driven it all four seasons, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, and I kept it a stock as possible. I didn't really want to invest any money to it. It was just like, okay, this is the bike to get me from point A to point B, that's it, you know? And it did job for that, you know? Is it a daily beater for the city? I personally think so. Like, I still think to this day that, you know, if you're a student, if you're someone who just wants to save money, you live in a city and you want to get around quickly, this is pretty good, you know? You might have to invest in some tubes and a couple of goddamn locks so no one steals it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend bike like this. I wouldn't say the Mariner, but I would definitely recommend a bike like this if you're around the city and you don't want to do too much maintenance and you're just like in and out of shops, you know, you want to see your friend, this is a good choice instead of getting, you know, a $20,000 car that you try to find parking, good luck finding parking nowadays, you know, still think it's a good idea, you know. It's because of this car I was able to save a lot of money, you know, and, and get myself out of debt, put myself through school and stuff like that. Like, I owe a lot to this guy, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying I owe a lot to Volpite because they're a whole other thing that I don't want to talk about, but the bike itself has gotten me through a lot, you know? It's got me through too many jobs, got me through, yeah, oh my God, many jobs. It's got me through, um, you know, uh, power outages, and I went through a micro burst in this and stuff. Uh, oh my God, yeah, I did, I did it a while ago, but yeah. It's like, uh, it's a beast, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like family, I'll be honest with you, since I've been with this for so long. No, I'm sure my kilometers on the odometer is not really high, because like I said, it's just, you know, five kilometers, 10 kilometers here, you know, I've seen some people who's, who have a bike like this for like five years, three years, and have like maybe 5,000, 7,000 on it. Awesome, so awesome, so proud. You guys should make videos talking about your experience of having all those kilometers with it. You know, me, I've, um, I wouldn't say I have a lot of problems with it for the three years because all these problems are just normal stuff, flat tires, you know, people slicing um, my wires for the, the motor or stuff like that, you know. Um, I'm just, I guess in my mind, I'm just used to having people just constantly try to keep destroying this bike and for some odd reason, just, uh, it, I keep bringing it back and it keeps, it keeps, it keeps me going, you know, it keeps me uh, going point A, point B. I mean, that's not Frankenstein, I haven't officially dead, except for the one time where I bought the bike and uh, they said that they um, and they uh, insulated the uh, the holes and stuff and water so that didn't blow out. That was the only time it did die, but uh, yeah, I mean, 
I said it before, I said it again, this, uh, this bike is a beast. Yeah. Well, that's it for the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button, it does help out. If you love this video and you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button or even leave a comment, better yet, so I even know what you guys want to post and I can make them. Whatever. Alright, folks, so I want you guys to take care and as always, have a nice day.